Are you ready? Bottom of the deck. <laughs> they want some transformation, some massive transformation. Now we're going to find out why. Oh, they feel you are their soulmate. They feel you are their soulmate, but you guys are not talking right now. You are not talking. They want to build with you. They want to, it may, they want the ten of coins, the ten of pence. So they want marriage and commitment. Wow. But right now they're feeling the, imp look at this. We asked how Aries was feeling. I feel like I'm reading uh, for um, female Pisces, male Aries. He feels very left out in the cold right now. Okay. He does want to build. You guys are not talking. I'm just going to find out why you're not talking. <laughs> uh, why um, is Pisces not speaking to the emperor? Because you're making a decision. It's not... Him making a decision, you are. Um, I've got to find out what kind of decision you're making. Okay, so you, uh, I feel like you thought there was some trickery involved. Um, so you're, you're thinking about whether or not you're going to get out of this. Wow. Uh, April 20 to May 20. How does fixed earth feel about Pisces, please? It's right there. All right. Bottom of the deck. <laughs> uh, they're possessed. Taurus is very possessive over you, or they may have a closed. They may be very difficult to get through to a closed heart. Um, very money focused, possibly. A little bit, possibly a little bit cold. Um, they're angry with you, Pisces. They want to come in quickly. They're also guarded at the same time. They have a lot of love for you, though. They're very passionate about you. They're losing sleep over you. And they want to put the work in on the relationship. If you like that, that's pretty good. One more. How does mutable air? How does Gemini feel about Pisces, please? How does Gemini feel about Pisces, please? Oh, it was hard to get that out. Bottom of the deck. Um, okay, so they're feeling burdened. Let's see what's going on. Gemini and Pisces. Um, they either want to, okay, so the Six of Swords is coming up. It's just, uh, this is either, I feel like they want you to come to them. <laughs> I forget it. I, normally, that's not the interpretation of that card, but that's what I'm feeling right there. Yeah. So Gemini wants to offer a new start, okay? They want to offer a solid new start, a new phase. Very strange um, that that came out that way. Um, they don't want anything unexpected. I'm looking at the wheel upside down. I don't do reversals, so when they're reversed, it means something. They don't want anything unexpected, okay? I feel like they feel like they can take care of this themselves. They are making an important decision about you, Pisces. There's a two of inspiration, and they are keeping a sharp eye on you. Look at this page of voices here. Um, I mean, Gemini does that. Um, wow. <laughs> okay. Beautiful water. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Okay, so they really want this to work. They, there may be something that needs um, some tweaking or uh, I'm getting. I'm looking at the card of temperance. So they really want this to work. They want to to heal this. Um, they want to. They want to put this together. Okay. Wow, ten of emotions, ten of cups. So there's a lot of love uh, from Cancer to work, but they are also feeling burdened. Um, I think there was some cheating or something going on. I'm looking at the five voices, and they uh, there was some kind of a truth that came in, uh, some kind of a sharp uh, truth with the Ace of Voices. I am going to clarify, okay? Um, what is this? Um, what's going on here, please? What's going on? One, what's going on here, please? I mean, there's a new start going on. Um, yeah, and it's, um, I feel like you guys got a, a, something unexpected and lucky has happened for you. Okay. Yeah, so it's become a little bit more solid. So suddenly there's, um, there's some solidity um, and some stability 
to the offer that's coming in, I think, either from you or from Cancer. Um, so I'm getting Knight of Materials, Ace of Materials, and good luck, good fortune. So I think the trouble, whatever trouble you had with Cancer, the trickery, cheating, whatever, it's in the past, it's not in the future. Okay, it's going to work out. Okay, we are moving on to Leo, the infamous Leo. Feel to work the mutable water sign, please. Okay, bottom of the deck. <laughs> okay, um, they are very certain about their feelings. Uh, I feel like they want to control everything. Um, at the moment, they're doing a little bit of soul searching. They may be studying you, trying to figure you out. Um, I feel like they want you to be there. Oh, wow. Yeah, they, Leo wants a commitment. It's very, very clear. Okay. Wow. Leo's actually going to come in with something romantic. I believe that you guys were previously broken up. Yep. Yeah, look at this. Previously, you were single. We're now moving into to a judgment, which is putting this thing back together. Wow. And they're very firm about it. I don't know how you did that, Pisces. Um, I get, you should give lessons in handling Leo. <laughs> Looks like you did a good job. Okay. About mutable water, please. There it is. Oh, God. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Okay, so they also want to repair something. So I feel like you and Virgo, um, uh, so you may have had a break in the relationship or you may not be, they want to put this back together. They want to resurrect the relationship. They feel, um, they want to put an end to whatever, they either feel very betrayed or they want to put an end, yeah, yeah, they want to put an end to, they want to put all the dark stuff in the past, okay? Um, wow. Okay, so Virgo really loves you. The way that they feel about you is the empress. I mean, this is incredible, okay? They want a reunion badly. Pisces, who are dealing with Virgo, they are extremely attracted to you, almost to the point of obsession, okay? They feel that they have a, a, a extremely strong soul bond to you. They look at you as the star. Literally, you are the star to them. Okay, um, so they may feel like you're a bit out of their league, um, but they want a Six of Cups reunion, a Three of Cups reunion. They see you as the Empress. They feel you as the Devil, okay, um, which is strong physical attraction in this reading, I'm feeling. And they want to put the relationship back together if you've had a break in the relationship, okay? This is looking good with Virgo, all right? Now, um, hooking back into Libra's energy of Cardinal Error. How do they feel about mutable water, please? And that's it. Okay, bottom of the deck. Uh, wow, this is Jupiter in Libra. I feel like I feel like they're dreaming about you. They may be meditating about you. Uh, uh, you want to know how they feel about you? Look at the expression on Jupiter in Libra's face. Smiling. I feel like uh, Libra will think about you on their way to sleep. Okay. Um, okay, so your Libra may be um, currently connected to somebody else or for some reason unable uh, to come toward you. They feel they have, they passionately want to come toward you, but they're feeling restricted, okay, uh, from coming toward you. They, they have, they're waiting on you though. They have invested in this relationship and they want to see fruits of their labor. They want to work on the relationship. They feel the Ten of Cups toward you. Um, but they're guarded. I have to clarify. So why are we seeing the nine of inspiration here, please, for Libra? I feel like there's there, uh, something needs to be there needs to be a bridge. I don't know what that means. Um, okay, why the guardedness, please? Um, okay. So, okay, so Pisces, okay, so here's the, you are the wish. This is Pisces, nine of, nine of cups, Jupiter and Pisces. Um, oh, Pisces, you may be married. So Pisces seeing Libra, Pisces may be married because Pisces is coming up as the queen of Pence, which is a married woman. 
I just want to clarify something. Um, it could be that they don't have enough money because they want to see you as the Queen of Pentacles. They want to see you well taken care of um, and, um, you know, uh, having money and being com comfortable. Um, so that's what's making them feel restricted from making that offer right now, but it's only temporary, okay? That's just another, um, that's something that should have in immediately been apparent to me. All right, now we're moving on to Scorpio. Um, so, uh, I really love this sign. So Scorpio is um, fixed water. I feel like they're hiding some of their feelings. All right, bottom of the deck. So you guys are also out of um, contact. Um, they may also, they may be doing, uh, but just, let's just see what, what how their feelings first. All right, so they think they're being tricked. Um, this is their card. They want something to change in a major way. Um, they're guarded. This is typical Scorpio. Uh, I feel like this is first deacon Scorpio. Um, they want an apology. <laughs> and here's one of their cards. Um, Sun and Scorpio, Six of Cups. But they do feel like you guys are soulmates. But you guys are not talking right now. Okay? I'm just going to get one more card. Okay, that's obviously it. Wow. Yeah, so... This is Page of Wands energy. Um, they are up for this, okay? I feel like you are too. I feel like you can communicate uh, intuitively with each other. Um, there's a lot of passion between you, and there's a brand new opportunity, okay? Feel about mutable water, please. Feel about Pisces. And it's right there. Okay, bottom of the deck. Um, so, they're confused. They are feeling confused. They don't know what to do. Um, they do, yeah, they're feeling confused and tricked. Because I think that they thought that you wanted to get back together. Um, they are restrained. They have a lot of, their emotion for you is very, very strong. They want commitment. They are holding back all their emotions right now. Um, they're, they want to say something very romantic. They want the Four of Wands and they want to come in with a romantic offer, but um, they are feeling confused. Sorry, I don't know how the take went off. Capricorn feels like they're in the dark when it comes to you. The reason why is you guys are very intuitive. It's probably spooking them out because they don't like dealing. Capricorn likes dealing with things that are, in, they like to have empirical evidence of everything. Physical evidence, okay? Um, you're, so they're seeing you as you are. They're seeing you as the moon, which is correct. So at least they're right about that, but they don't like it. Okay. Cause it confuses them. They can't figure you out. Pisces. They are very passionate toward you. They are very physically attracted toward you. Whoa. They feel the nine of cups toward you. This is Jupiter and Pisces. They feel you and they want you. Okay. You are it. You are their wish. They want to make you an offer. Look at this page of pentacles. This is Capricorn energy. Capricorn wants to make an offer to Pisces. It's long-term and stable. You're not going to believe this, Pisces. The next two cards are two major arcana, the sun and the star. Um, that There couldn't be stronger, better feelings. That that This is the best that I've seen so far in the how do you feel. <laughs> at least they know you. They are confused, but at least they know you. Pisces and Capricorn, this is a strong connection. This is should be preserved. This this is worth fighting for. Okay, it's gonna work. Okay, Pisces, Aquarius is next. Um, so Aquarius season, which we're in right now, uh, began on January the 21st, okay? Ends on February the 18th. So we should, um, shouldn't have any problem picking up fixed air's energy. Um, can we soak up all the energy of the Aquarius Aquarians who are dealing with Pisces, please. How does Aquarius, how does fixed air, January 21, February 18, how do they feel about mutable water, please? I don't know why I felt like turning that over. <laughs> they are also smart Aquarius. They also see you as the moon. So they know, they know that you're very, I feel like it, 
with Aquarius, I'm not sure. I think they like it. I think, just look at how these people are kind of looking up to the moon uh, in this deck. So they probably respect the fact that you're intuitive. Okay, how else does Aquarius feel about Pisces, please? Um, how does fixed air feel about Pisces, please? I'm going to look, turn these over. They feel that you are very wide. They look up to you. I feel like they learn from you, Pisces. Okay. Um, they may be either that or they're doing some soul searching all by themselves, uh, thinking about you, trying to figure you out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> how does fixed air, how else does fixed air feel about Pisces, please? Oh, wow. Um, they are very, they feel, so you're coming up to them. You are an opportunity um, that they're up for a challenge. You're challenging to them. I feel like they're interested uh, in you. Um, you challenge them. You really do. But they are up for this challenge, okay? Um, I do feel like you guys have a way of communicating with each other um, on an intuitive uh, level, okay? Um, so how else does fixed air feel about mutable water? January 21 to February 18, how does Aquarius feel about mutable water? Wow. They see you as the Empress. Um, what's on the bottom of the deck? Okay, so I think they may be a little tiny bit possessive over you. Protective. They have protective feelings, um, but they're, they, these, um, the Aquarius that you're dealing with, Pisces, I think has some Capricorn in their chart. Um, yep, ten of materials. So um, they have, um, they may have Capricorn or Virgo in their chart. They do want a commitment with you, okay? Aquarius wants a commitment with Pisces. Awesome. Okay, so, oh. Okay, and we are finally at Pisces dealing with Pisces. So, um, I'm going to have to get one more. Okay, bottom of the deck. Uh, they, they, they feel like you're breadcrumbing them. Uh, they're angry. <laughs> they're coming up as Pisces. Well, they are Pisces, King of Cups. They're angry, they're holding it, they have a lot of emotion for you. Um, they want to say something romantic, um, but their heart right now is shut closed like you wouldn't believe. Um, they may be a tiny bit, um, uh, I'm getting a lot of uh, coins here. Um, I feel like you're dealing with a Pisces that is uh, money obsessed, okay? So if you're Pisces dealing with a Pisces, your person, they have a lot of emotion for you, but they're a little bit of a miser. They're greedy, they're emotional. I feel like they're a very sharp business person. They do have romantic feelings towards you. I mean, there, there's a rom romantic uh, Knight of Cups energy coming up there. Why, is the, why are they so money obsessed? King of Cups again. It's just it, it's just the Pisces that you're dealing with, Pisces. Uh, this is a King of Cups. He's good. He's shrewd in business. Um, very good in business. Um, he um, he is uh, almost deadly to deal with as as a business person. So this person is very money oriented. Okay, but they do have romantic feelings for you. Okay, they may be a little bit possessive over you and they may be angry right now. Like, about to blow up type thing. <laughs> oh, but they love you. The sun. There we go. Amazing. That was really cool. Especially Pisces and Capricorn. That was awesome.